it's that time again for Ipsy. Um, I already opened it. I already looked at everything. I'm not going to lie. Um, because I got it probably like two days ago. Um, and it got here late and it was, it was a mess. And now it's like 1230 in the morning. This is the first opportunity I've had um, to record this because I've been really busy. Um, but yeah, so let's get started. Um, so this is the bag. I think the theme this month was Rebel. Um, so it's got um, like graffiti on it, um, some splatter paint. It says like Ipsy and makeup and some of the words that I can't make out on here. Um, but it, it has a different feeling than some of the other bags. Uh, it's like made out of a different material. Um, it's really soft. I like it. Um, not my favorite bag, um, like the design, but but it's alright. There's going to be some that you're going to really like and some that you're probably not going to like so much. And that's fine because you get one every single month and who needs that many makeup bags. Um, anyway, so let's get started. So this is called Hey Honey 24-7 Honey Day and Night Moisturizing Cream. Uh, I haven't tried it yet. Um, I haven't even like done anything with it. I, I tried to like save most of it for now. Some of the stuff I did kind of test out a little bit. Doesn't have much of a smell. Well, it kind of does. It's not awful. It's not like too pungent either. So it's nice. I'm excited to try this because I don't really use a moisturizer. Um, I probably should. So maybe if I like this, who knows? I don't know. Um, and all, I'm also wearing glasses today because I ran out of contacts. Um, or I have like one pair left, but I want to save them probably for Monday because who knows? I think that my they're on back order, so I have no idea when I'm gonna uh, get my next like a bunch of pairs. So that's fun. <laughs> anyway, let's keep going. Uh, the next thing is oh, fell out of the box. Um, it's Formula X. It's a nail polish. Um, what is the color called? Wing Woman. Um, so. That is it. It's like a pinkish, reddish color. I've used this brand before, and I wasn't a huge fan. Uh, but that was years ago. Um, so who knows now? Um, maybe it's a little like different. Maybe the formula has changed. I don't know. I'm going to give it a try. I usually don't wear nail polish that's like pink too often. Every nail polish I've gotten from Ipsy so far has been pink. Um... But so I'm still um, looking forward to trying it. I'll probably try that uh, in the next nails I do because I change them like every like two days. <laughs> uh, the next thing is an everything balm. There's so many words on this little tube. I have absolutely no idea. Um, okay, I think the brand is Delectable. Bottled Brilliance, it says. And it says it plumps, pouts, and glosses lips. It seals split ends, which that's kind of cool. Softens heels, tames brows, conditions cuticles, pops cheek go cheek bones, brightens dark circles, nourishes dryness. Um, I tried this a little bit. I used it on my lips the other day. And I, I don't remember if I liked it or not. Because um, I don't think I had it on for very long. Um, but I did just put it on my heels. Um, just a little bit. And I don't know, it's pretty nice. Um, I'm, I did actually put it under my... Like on my dark circles earlier today. But I've been wearing glasses all day. So every time I've looked in a mirror, it's kind of like obstructed. So I'm going to give this a good try. And see what happens. Maybe I'll try it in my hair. Um... Yeah, I don't know. I've never heard of anything like that. And I guess, I think the, I don't know, the scent, flavor, it's not a color. It's a colorless, but whatever it is, it's sweet cream. Um, so yeah, the next thing is a blush by Seraphine Botanicals. And I think the shade is Happy Hibiscus, possibly. This is the box, partially open because I had to open it beforehand because I already looked at it. Um, and it was really difficult to open that box. 
Um, this is a little compact. It's pretty cute. I actually um, quite like it. But I don't wear blush that often. Um, it is a very nice color. It's slightly shimmery, but not too bad. I hope that wasn't annoying. There's a mirror in it, and it like shine off the lights. Um, but I'll try it. I don't wear blush that often. Um, one of my coworkers also got this, and she told me she used she tried the blush out as an eyeshadow, and it worked really well. So I, I'm probably gonna try that as well um, and see what happens. Um, but it's said on here it's 99% natural, vegan, hypoallergenic, gluten free, and a whole bunch of other stuff. There's a whole big list. And it's not tested on animals, which is very important to me. Uh, it's GMO free and a whole bunch of other stuff. Some words, I don't even know how to pronounce them. Probably because I didn't try to. <laughs> anyway, the last thing is Urban Decay. Something from Urban Decay. And I love Urban Decay. Um, I've used some of their lipsticks. And I have a, like a mattifying powder that I adore, um, even though if you drop it, it breaks. You just have to be really careful with it. Um, but I do like it a lot. Um, this is an eyeshadow. I've never tried their eyeshadows before. Um, but it's really neat. It's just really small. Um, and I'll take it out of the package. Because this packaging is crazy. Um, a lot of it's also in French. Um, what's the shade? Does it even say? Is this something about lounge? But that might be the type of eyeshadow. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, it's a duo-toned eyeshadow. I'm going to take it out of the package to show what it is. And I didn't really look at it that much, and it's actually really cool. Um, so it's like a greenish color, but then in certain lights, it's like a reddish color. I don't know if me twisting this at all is gonna do anything to show you um, the differences in the colors. Um, it's quite metallic-y. I probably won't wear it very often, but I'm definitely gonna try it and I'm really excited to try it to see if like the duo tones really like show up. Um, so it, it definitely won't be something I wear every day. Uh, I guess they had another color too. It was like a pinky and something else. I don't remember. Um, but that one also seemed cool. That one might be more for maybe not an everyday look, but more often than you would wear like green and red. It's kind of Christmassy. Um, but I am excited to try it. And it kind of looks like kind of grayish too. I have no idea. But um, I do love this brand. I love everything I've tried from them so far. So I'm sure I'm going to like it. So yeah, that's everything that I got this month. Um, overall, it's it's okay. It's not my favorite bag um, that I've gotten so far. Mainly because I knew that they were... Some people had gotten some eyeliners and I really need a new eyeliner. Because <laughs> um, I ran out of mine. Um, and I didn't get that, so I was kind of disappointed. That's okay, I'm excited to try um, everything else that it came with. Um, and I can't wait till um, the next one I get. So yeah, that is where I'm going to end this video. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, leave a like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye!